Let's play the new Anime Fighters update. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for free bow bucks. Hey yo, what up? F mine is Gang Gang. Welcome back again to Anime Fighter Simulator. Today is the update, y'all. At least uh, this video, I tried to put it out on the update day. We have update 60 though, a little late, but that's okay. We're here to check out everything this update has to offer. Oh, Hopefully ooh. this is a good update. I did see in the Discord server though that this was kind of like a mini update. So we can't really expect too much we can however expect a brand new code yes sir make sure you guys go ahead and use the code i think it's called like pre easter eggs or something like that exclamation point i don't know if that's it yes it is so you guys can go ahead you get passive lucky potion super time boost passive transfer token not too bad you guys can redeem it maybe your progress to be a little bit better in anime fighters and i think they were trying to add Game Pass trading this update. I don't know if it's actually in here. I looked in the shop. It doesn't let me buy any. And then I looked in my inventory. I mean, I don't have any in my inventory. So I'm not sure if they added it to the update. But you guys can see the Boxer's Paradise has risen where multiple new challengers can be found. Each eager to show off their own skills. So this is kind of cool. This is Hajime no Ippo. It's like a boxing anime. I know how much you guys love sports anime. Yes, sir. The update log, though, we got a new island, new fighters, mounts. It also says Easter eggs can be found spawning around the map. Based on what I've seen in the Discord server, I don't think the Easter eggs do anything right now. But uh, you guys can find them if you want. Um, <laughs> besides that, I mean, we got a new island, new fighters, no divine it looks like. Level cap raised, and then the incubator level cap has also been raised. So it's like one of your smaller standard updates. At least for this video, the goal. Of course, we're going to go to the new map, try to get the new secret, max level it. But I also want to take my strongest unit. Either the evolution, the demonic here or my shiny infused divine. And we're gonna pump it up all the way to the new level cap. And then we can see what the kind of damage the strongest fighter in the game would have. So right now we're gonna go to Boxer's Paradise. Would you like to purchase it? Yes, I would. Let's go take a look at this map. And let's go take a look at some of these units. Maybe they look really cool. Uh, looking at it right now. Um, I mean, it's, it's the city, like the anime, I guess. It kind of looks pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Here's the rising star, though, if you guys want to go and pay for some Robux. Right now, I'm going to turn off or yeah, I'm going to turn on auto sell uh, pretty much for everything except the maybe the mythical and the secret. I can max open once right now. Let's see what we get. You can see we got a bunch of mythics. Hajimo no Ippo, actually. I don't even know his like full name, but we got Ippo. And then we can go to the Boxer's Paradise here. It says, okay, that is not Ippo. I guess Ippo might be the secret. We got Mamuto. I don't know who the hell that is. I've seen uh, Hajime no Ippo, but it's been like a long time. So let me go back here. His name is Mamuto. Uh, I don't know how strong he is, but I mean, we could take a look at the mythic and stuff. That's what we do for every update. So here we go. We got Mamuto. I don't know if this is uh, Ippo's friend or whatever, but I know most of the characters. I just don't remember this guy. And then after that, I mean, we can check out his base damage. I don't know if you guys use mythics. He's actually really strong. <laughs> 1,900. That's pretty impressive. No. Nice. Best secret in the game is like 3k damage, something around that range. So that's actually not bad. Now, we're going to try to pull the secret, and if you saw the video from last week, we had the absolute max luck in the game. We had like a luck event, this and that, so it was really easy for us to pull secrets. I want to try to do that today as well. Maybe I can uh, maximize my luck so it's a little bit easier to pull the secret, you know. We'll try to get like 60 or 70 or something like that. First thing I'm going to do is turn on a luck event, so we got plus two luck. And then we're going to get a luck avatar. What is that, Roar Spirit? Yep. And then we're gonna use a super luck boost and then maybe get like a, a luck team out or something. Here's the trial shot. We're gonna get a super lucky potion. This will help us out a little bit. That way we can get the secret unit really fast. There's a super luck boost. We already have a super time boost running. Nice. We're gonna go to artifacts. Artifact of dreams. We're gonna swap that out with maybe artifact of fortune. And then artifact of hoarding. We're gonna go artifact of multitude. And then after that, I mean, we just go to our teams here. It says luck. We equip our luck team. 
Um, we have one luck unit. <laughs> I swear to God, I hope I did not sell my luck units. And even if I did, that's okay. I still have a 40 luck at the bottom right of the screen. 40 luck is not that bad at all. I think I actually sold my luck team. Uh, no, I didn't. I have it here. At least some of them. I don't know where the rest of my units are. Uh, we got Makoto here. I probably already sold them. Then this unit, this unit. Dang, we cashing out today. We got 60 luck. Almost 60 luck at the bottom right of the screen. Now we go back to the new map. You guys will see F minus in action. Pull this brand new seeker unit insanely fast. Here's the boxing star. We don't need the mythics anymore. So we're going to turn on auto sell for those. And then let's see if we get the secret unit here. No, we got a bunch of mythics. But that's okay. I just go to the next one. Let's see if we get it. Okay, that's okay. What does DJ call us in? Another one. Hey, there it is. We got the secret unit. Hey, that's how we do it, guys. You already know that's how we do it. Now, to check the secret unit, how strong it is, we're going to go to the index, Boxer's Paradise, like we usually do. So, Epo is the secret unit. His name is Epomi. So, I mean, his damage, I think it was like 3.6k or something. This is how he looks. It's literally Epo ready to fight. Um, he has no shirt on. He's like basically in his boxing gear. And his damage is pretty high. 3.6k for the video. I mean, we can make him shiny, do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But this is, in total, like a tiny mini update. So, yeah, we got the secret pretty fast. We got the mythical unit, Mats Mamuto. 1.9k, 3.6k. We'll max level them. We'll do whatever we can. But, I mean, like I said, y'all, ah, we're going to have to wait until the big huh? Easter update. And they said that would be next week. So, we're going to take Epo. Let's do 69 fruit. Let's go make this guy uh, shiny. And then we're going to go to the time chamber. And then we're going to max level one of our divine units. Or maybe the demonic unit. Dang, there's Epo. Oh, wait, what? They should have made it reversed. This is Epo shiny, right? But he's wearing his like shirt on and stuff you know he's like i don't know what he's doing going to school or something uh let me see if i can check out his aura how cool is epo because you guys maybe have seen epo in maybe like different games uh anime adventures when he was still up and then i don't know if he's like an all-star tower defense but he has a really cool aura you guys can see like a yellow i don't know they're like the yellow lines but that is Epo. I mean, at best, let's go see what we got here. Let's go transfer protagonist onto him. So we're going to type in here protagonist. We should have, yep, we got Karumi protagonist. And we're going to swap those over. And then let's try to max level him. So I'm going to go, let's go check out Chief Maid here. We're going to equip her so we get that extra EXP boost. They did raise the level cap for the incubators. So that's kind of nice. It's now 330 if you've done some of the upgrades in the game. So that helps out even just a little bit more. Here's Epo. We can try to max level him. I don't know what the max level is in the game. Uh, but whatever it is, we still got to get double protagonist. Oh, I'm guessing it's going to be 660. So they increased the level cap, but I think five levels. Five level cap. Because uh, he's 650 here. Double protagonist would be 660. And I think our strongest unit is Sung John and Karumi, 655. We already max leveled our Epomi. I mean, we can go ahead and check out his damage real quick. Dang, Epomi, he's pulling up 81. Oh, dang, with protagonist. Okay, okay, he's not that bad at all. And what if I put a better passive on him? I don't know if I have maybe demon, like in my inventory. Uh, What about, I mean, we got monster. What do you all think of monster? Monster, oh, we have snowstorm. Cool, let's transfer snowstorm. One of the highest damaging passives in the game. Oh, by the way, I think uh, Winter Event is still here. I don't know if you guys can take it, but yeah. They extended Winter Island for one more week. So if you guys want to get high damaging passives like F-, minus, go back to Winter Island. Go get you a little something something. And then we're going to go, what is his name? Epomi. Let's go see Epomi's final. Ooh, 230. Oh, dang. Wait, what about a... Oh, 2.49 KO. But this is infused, it's a divine, and it has two passives plus the max talent. Um, Epomi over here is doing basically eight to nine times less damage, and it's just a regular shiny secret. So these new div or these new secrets, these newer units, they are pretty damn powerful. I'm kind of impressed. Here's the talent machine, though. We can take our Epomi over here. We can try to max it out. I mean, we get 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Barely helps out a little bit. But, I mean, now he's doing 300 O Karumi, I mean, I know she's 655, but Divine Infused, 2.49 KO. So, it's like 7 to 8 times weaker. 
but it's a secret and dang look at our Epo me look at Epo over here he ready to box the enemies out i do want to kind of see him in action before we try to max level one of our like strongest units uh for the video and that's probably once again going to be either the demonic or the infused divine i can only do one for the video because they do take a little bit of time uh but let me go ahead and check out the fighter effects i can start attacking let's see what we got or i don't know if we can start attacking but let's go to the newest map unless it's a one shot he's probably gonna end up killing everything super duper fast probably or maybe it's like a one shot maybe it is oh it's not a one shot okay so here he is attacking with snowstorm what oh my god yes look at that dang Easy. oh man i'm impressed you guys see that look at the way he punches yo this is one of my favorite units this is definitely one of my favorite units at least the attack animation that is so cool let me turn off auto clicker he's attacking a little too fast and he's gonna end up killing everything like you know i, I kind of want to see his attack animation so here's a keto right here he basically does the dempsey roll yeah he's literally i or I, it looks like he's doing the dempsey roll he's hitting with the left and the right that's a really cool attack animation i'm gonna tell you right now I mean, if you guys are into secret units, I love secret units. 3.6k damage. Shiny is 6.3k. It's not like a divine. You guys know Karumi. 10,000 base damage. But Epo's about three times weaker than Worst Spirit. And of course, Epo is going to be a million times easier to get. So you guys can definitely go for Epo. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the time chamber. And let's go try to max out max level one of our strongest units like i said it's either sung john or it's going to be karumi i'm not sure which one we're going to end up making like as strong as possible i mean the demonic unit he probably has a higher base damage but the problem with him i can't max out his talents karumi is like the strongest shiny i guess infused divine strongest divine with the base damage but i mean dps karumi base damage sung uh john over there so I'll probably just for this video i'll go for sung john he currently has double interstellar i'm gonna put double protagonist we'll put him in the incubator and then we'll max level him and then i'll see if i have double snowstorm if not i'll try to um uh, pull the passive since the winter event is still here and then we're gonna check out sung john's final damage for the video i'm hoping he's doing like 10 20 30 maybe something like that ko he'll be really really powerful okay i uh guess we waited long enough i did transfer double protagonist as promised he's now level 660 and then i mean we're just gonna transfer protagonist off maybe double snowstorm i'm not sure if i still have double snowstorm i might have re-rolled it okay cool i do have it so we have one on Epomi over here, and then we have uh, one on Cursed Dragon King. So that's perfect. We're going to transfer it over to Sung John, and then maybe he has like the highest damage in the game for a, an evolution unit. You know what? He's not even the highest damage. I just remembered. Remember last update, guys? The demonic units here, there's one that's better. You guys remember Anno's uh, Voli Goat, as I call him? He has 23k base damage. Sung John has 17k, but... We tried to make him shiny and he blew up if you remember 40,000 shiny sung john only has 29k so the true demon king is actually like a lot stronger but i mean we don't have him so <laughs> i mean we don't even have the heavenly still Brrr. but that's okay this is still gonna be pretty damn strong we're gonna withdraw him and then uh i guess we can go to the transfer machine we're gonna put double snowstorm on our boy so here is the first snowstorm and he's gonna be hopefully our strongest unit 4.49 ko this is the first attacking passive and you guys can see his damage is now 11 ko that's impressive maybe not as high as you know the strongest heavenly in the game with like you know max ascension or something but i mean you can reasonably get sung john or even anos voligo so you 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 could try to get it or you can get the divine infuse the divine it'll be just as strong we're gonna transfer the next snowstorm onto our son john and there you guys go we have done it we've created our strongest demonic unit karumi 2.49 ko sung john 17 ko not bad his dps might not be that good though because he has double snowstorm i've tested it out for a video before double snowstorm ain't the best snowstorm and angel is pretty damn solid though so here it is 660 i feel like that's not that strong i think uh, one of my friends yuki roblox she has a unit doing like 
three digit KO or something like that, if I remember. I don't know if it was 100 KO or 200 KO. Somebody let me know in the comments, but like, damn. I mean, I think it's okay. We can try to create, once again, true Demon King. It's just, I gotta like, I, <laughs> I don't even remember the requirements for this guy. Uh, Cause I haven't hopped on AFS since maybe a couple of uh, videos ago. But we do have to go to like world, I don't know if it was 50 or something. To make Anos Voligard and then or Voligode. And you guys can see once again 17 KO. I could try to attack with him, but I don't really need to do a DPS check. He's already strong enough. I can say though, this update was definitely a lot smaller. All they really did was just level cap increase. Incubator level cap raise. We did cover that. I mean new island, new fighters, we covered that. And then uh, there's a new mount. Easter eggs can be found spawning around the map. I can take a look at the Easter egg. I don't know if there's any in Boxer's Paradise, but from what I've seen in the Discord server, the Easter eggs don't do anything. I don't know if they do. Maybe they did add it in and stuff. I just, I'm not sure. And also, one other thing we can do is check out Dungeon. I know you guys really want to go to the Dungeon. Dun, dun, dun. Because... I mean, you gotta see how powerful these enemies are getting. Maybe they nerfed it. Maybe it's incredibly, like, in, it, like powerful. Like, you you guys won't be able to do it. We have to double check it. And I guess um, that's probably what we're gonna do right now. Let me see if I can assemble my strongest team. I guess it would be Sung John. Uh, Worst Spirit. Ah, uh, you know what? We're probably gonna have to go back for DPS. So I'm gonna go back to the time chamber. I did show you guys Double Snowstorm, 17 KO. It's the strongest that I could do. Also, there is a fragment converter machine. I don't use it, but apparently there was like a bug. Everybody was getting infinite fragments. Uh, congratulations to you guys. We're going to transfer the passive. This is my strongest unit, 14 KO, probably the highest DPS. And then we're just going to get a bunch of ghastly units. You guys know my ghastly team. It's just like a support backup just to show you how much damage we can output using only one carry unit. We'll take vegetable avatar. We'll use a super damage boost. Uh, we will also go to the challenge hub. Let me see if I can open up a dungeon unless somebody's doing one right now. Cool, nobody's doing one. We'll switch out the artifact of fortune to the artifact of attack. I need to check out how hard this dungeon is. If I can't do it, prob probably you guys can't do it either. It's going to be too tough. Here's Boxer's Paradise. I mean, we can do an insane public. Hopefully, um... It doesn't have that much HP. <laughs> Dude, the HP, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be like way harder than the last update. I'll turn on auto attack. Oh, we got kind of lucky. Look at that. First room, we already have a treasure chest. That's what I'm talking about. So we're already starting to attack the enemies here. Um, I guess my main carry unit's already hitting. Damn, 15 BO. Ooh, damn, boy. Yo, these insane dungeons are crazy, y'all. I think they fixed it. You guys might be able to trade demonic fruit now. Let me know if they fixed it. If they didn't, let me know in the comments. But like, um, <laughs> if you don't have a max level evolution unit, demonic unit, either maybe like a shiny infused divine as well, double divine passives, max level, max talent, everything like that. Plus like a full support team or like basically cloned versions of shiny divines or maybe even like multiple demonics, I don't think you guys will be able to beat this dungeon. I am struggling really bad to kill one enemy here, the first enemy, and I have the artifact of attack, max prestige, maxed out. I have all of the damage upgrades, all of them. And then I have a damage, super damage boost. I'm also using the best damage avatar, which is vegetable. Uh, some of you guys use flaming, flaming hero. For me, vegetable is better because I already have a really high crit rate. And I'm using, like like I said, he's maxed out Angel Snowstorm. It's like the best combination you can currently get besides the Halloween passives. Dude, I'm busting out everything. The only thing I could probably do is just buy a Robux event, 500 Robux. And maybe we'd be able to kill Ipomi. Just keep in mind, this is a smaller enemy if you guys can't see. The bigger enemy probably has more HP, 1.1 BO. Actually, this one's not that bad. 1.1 BO, I think we could take that out. Maybe Ippo is just really tough to kill. Let's go check this one out. Yeah, we can kill this guy. I guess Ippo just had 15. But keep in mind, once again, even if I kill all the enemies here, the chest room. I mean, for the video, I guess we could... Can we? I mean, it's already been almost five minutes. 
Nippon is only like 30% HP down. What about this guy? 1.13 BO. Maybe. I want to show you guys the HP of the uh, treasure chest room. That way you guys can look like, oh, okay. F- minus can't kill any of the enemies. He can't even break the chest. It's probably not even worth attempting. So maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. 2.64. Let me go to the treasure chest room. Let's see the HP. All right, y'all. So I got some of my friends helping out in the server. You can see we got Nico over here. We got Kuzo. There's a couple of other people. Um, it's probably been five, maybe six minutes, and we're still working on the first room. So just to give you guys perspective, maybe they, they could nerf. They don't have to, but, you know, maybe it'd be pretty helpful if they nerf the HP in here because it's, it's really tough to kill these enemies. But once we kill Akito, we should be able to get to the treasure chest room. I don't think we can break any of the chests, but we can at least see the HP because it's kind of difficult already to kill 1 BO HP. Um, 10 BO takes a couple of minutes, 1 BO could take me only one minute, but if it's any more than 100 BO for the chest, it's going to be impossible, y'all. Here's the treasure chest room. We have 66 BO, damn. Bruh. This one has 59 BO. So about four or five times stronger than the highest HP enemy here, which was 15 BO. So basically the math, it would take us about 20 minutes just to break one of these chests. And you do have to break the chest if you guys want to get demonic fruit. So, I mean, I, I, you could probably trade demonic fruit, but like somebody has to get demonic fruit. Um, so if you're like end game player, you could probably clap this out. It probably take you like the entire dungeon time, but you probably could break the chest. But like for someone like me, he, I hit end game, but like, I mean, we could get a better demonic unit. I guess we could try to get like Anos. Bruh. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, overall, hopefully by the time you're watching the video, maybe they nerf it. And if they don't, ooh, I mean, it's just like any other, I guess, update in Anime Fighters, new map, new units. You guys let me know what your best unit is and if you're hyped for the upcoming Easter update. Really do appreciate your guys' support. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.